Yeah, so Biden and Harris have taken on, you know what, because I was thinking about that lower vibrating energy and high vibrating. That's maybe the two energies that I feel like I sense on these individuals that are in that administration. Low vibing and high vibing energy is what I'm picking up on. And the low vibing energy represents the moon, control, laws, lies, darkness, what's done in the dark. And then the light part of it, okay? Yeah. Hmm. And shedding mana or that kind of energy here. Expansion. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Huh. So it's the lower vibrating energy of this being that vibes towards the moon. That tantric hidden something. So if the person is a vibrating low, they're going to gravitate towards the moon. Because the moon has a hold of the groin area or the root sacral area, okay? And the sun is the mind. So if somebody seeming absent-minded, okay? But it might seem absent-minded to those who are not inclined or um, to the spiritual aspect. This is going to be confusing for some of these people here, okay? Now, I feel like this is why when it comes to colonization and things like this, they kept... Um, like a shaman or they kept scouts or they kept, you know, these particular type of people around them to be able to know the ins and outs on the spiritual level, to shed light or mana on a situation. The Christ energy has always been here prior to, you know, religious aspects or colonization. It's always been this light or this illuminating of something here. So when they want to resonate on low frequency vibes, right? And indulge in that, that seems harmful to American women because usually it's the, the cars, okay? The American cars, mm -hmm. hmm. or vehicles, even vassals, okay? That suffer. American factories, American everything. Hmm. But people really pretty much take care of their foreign cars. Hmm. Let's see. So again, this supply chain, okay, is making me think about that. Access to something that is divine, okay? Okay. From the decades long lack of investment in the nation's goods movement supply chain, the administration enacts the bipartisan infrastructure law to bring our infrastructure to the 21st century, work with ports to clear the docks. Hmm. Work with ports. The collapse in Port-au-Prince. But that's probably something separate. But work with ports to clear the docks. Okay. And gets goods moving. Okay, a large body of water where vassals can load and unload and find shelter from storms. A harbor, whether natural or artificial, for loading and unloading. Town market. Okay, refuge, asylum. A city gate. So this making me think about holy grounds also, okay? To pass over, okay? So, yeah, this is making me think about, like, taking refuge, okay? 
vessels on a voyage. So again, this is a gate. Oh, we entrance, a place, a portal, a portal, the gate of a town or a fortress. <clears throat> So again, this is making me think about them moving some type of nurses or some type of something here away, okay? This could be doctors or nurses or people, you know, bounty hunters when it comes to uh, the abortion uh, act or whatever from Texas, okay? A carriage, yeah. Okay, so this is, this is going to lead... This is what I mean, okay? So these southern borders or these open borders might be representing, you know, portals or things that people can maybe come through. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's making me think about, again, women's reproductive system. I mean, that's just been heavy on my mind. Sweet, dark red wine. Yeah, on their menstrual. Okay. Okay. You know, because even we already know, like, when you are on that, most of the time you're looking to be relieved. You're like... Oh my goodness, it's a free pass. I can be like not bothered, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is talking about look, the fact that it's saying this this sweet dark wine or, you know, Tennessee whiskey kind of energy here. Yeah. So again, deport and export. So this is somebody keeping their choices um Mhm. Mm so somebody, you know, this whole thing have been it. But I feel like this whole see, I feel like this whole thing has been to move me out of a position of safety here, under the arms of someone who was keeping me, you know what I'm saying, above it all, right? Untouchable. Like, you know, to the point where, you know, people can't and that's what concerns me about that untouchable or um Dali or, you know, energy. Okay? But then if something is government owned. You know what I'm saying? It make me think about government cheese, government food stamps, you know, kind of like this or whatever, that they feel like they can do whatever they want to do with people. But again, this whole thing about this. These ports. A place to house or a gate or something like this is making me think about, again. The lion's gate. For goods and services. Okay. Goods and services. Um. This is like, I also see this all eternal energy as a wicked, evil energy sometimes. I watch out for stuff like that. And I feel like some of these people, some of these feminine energies are so fed up with my energy. They just ready for somebody just to, you know, the whole thing where it's about ripping the tree out by the roots. Should I keep this one or rip it out? Okay. That's so funny because her energy showed up to me. Okay. It's almost like these people have a really severe hold on this masculine or on some kind of energy here, even a feminine energy, okay? They're looking for a reason to destroy the fucking empress, okay? To make it not so much of a valuable asset here. These nurses, these women, I feel like they're giving secret flights around the country and portals and stuff like that in order to damage women, American women, in order to make them less valuable or useful here. Okay, these are jealous fucking bitches. Like, I'm so sick of this shit. Like, and they so weak and so whack and fucking sneaky and so fucking pitiful. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to take this shit to the streets or no motherfucking where else. See, this is what's going to bother me. This is where I don't even understand. Okay, see, and that's what I'm saying. I feel like somebody want to take me there. They really do. They want to take me there. So I'm going to watch out here. I'm going to watch my fucking step. It's also, a, I feel like it's that energy and it's also the... Uh, Trans energy, okay? Just like in any community, there's those that should be and those that shouldn't. There's those that are, you know, because they want you to be free loving with all these different groups and all these different agendas and shit like that. But what they don't tell you is sometimes these agendas are relentless, reckless. They may not reveal themselves to the public, but they reveal themselves to me because there's always good and bad in every single thing. 
These are people. Can you imagine? Like I said, the war on the womb is these women, these people, okay, using sorcery and also just in their feelings. This eight of wands is just blaring at me right now, okay? These men don't understand, though, some of these people, some of these masculines, feminists, whoever, that deal with this, this, this sacral energy. Like I said, tant tantric or whatever other kind of energies, they got them hooked. I feel like this is why they make these people enter into these societies and stuff with these secret things that they do. This is why we kept on pulling them cards on. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay? Yeah. Because, again, American women deserve sugar, not salt. Okay? That's, that's where you, we need to kick that shit. To, that's where you start right here. Okay? That's where you start. All right? Banged. Okay? I'm here and let me bang. Okay? That, we're going off to off the subject right here. Okay? A little bit. Okay? We're going off the subject. These ports and stuff like this, like I said. Like I said, portals or whatever, it's talking about wine, it's talking about all these things. Again, it, it would be a good idea for people to, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and look at this on their own. I'm, I'm not really trying to go into depth on this right now today. Okay, import, export, okay? So this is also taking women out of one position as a wife and putting her as someone like a piece of property or something. So some of these LLCs and some of these, I knew it. Some of these LLCs and some of these companies or whatever that's being built are women coming in on your masculine, on your husband, on your brothers, on your uncles, on your fathers, okay? That think it's a good idea um, to, again, use these secret portals or these secret dimensions or levels um, in order to... Um, it's sex trafficking. It's sex trafficking, okay? So somebody's angry in reverse, though, okay? All right? This is a new way, new age way of traf sex, blah, 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 sex trafficking. Double. Yeah. So this made me think about the two of cups even. All right. This is splicing, mixing, breeding, like 2.0, like really. Okay. So again, taste is in reverse here. This is what this is talking about. Hold on. Let me see something. Let's go back to where we were at. Mm -mm. Let's go back. How did that just change? Okay, now I can pick up. Okay, I haven't had no sleep last night, y'all. So you can just bear with me right here with this first video while, while I get into the groove of things, okay? So, yeah, resulting from the mm -hmm, national good, da 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 da. Okay, and bring our infrastructure to the 21st century. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. Clear the docks, okay, and gets, and gets goods moving. This makes me think about, like, transport or transportation. This is also making me think about, you know, feeding, eating, you know. Unfortunately, it's talking about in some kind of way, though, here, okay. Launched a pilot initiative you know it's like get all of the just like it said in the bible to get rid of all of israel's choices men okay right so i feel like i just seen something on the media where they were talking about bringing in some certain people like some groups of people into certain places in america like some of these immigrants these immigrants and stuff like that so i feel like they're getting rid of the choices men here and they're bringing in these immigrants like these masculines have already chosen who they want to bring into heaven with them so this is the bitch that they want to protect and say they so much of a coward that they can't speak up and talk about now this is just a general thing this ain't directly talking to my masculines just to get that out of the place okay but this is a general sense is what i'm feeling filth look at that just flew out and flat, fell on the damn floor didn't even want to fall get on my table these are people that's too weak to admit that they just want to move on in general, okay? That they found someone else in general. These are people that's too weak to say that they have been turned out, okay? Or turned over, okay? And so the, the next thing to do is to put you in a situation 
where you're not worthy or you're not worth anything anymore. And I, I, a large amount of this is me feeling like these is masculines um, that may be with um, men or even with women. But the, they have something against you, okay? They have something against the womb. This is a war against the fucking womb. You understand me? This is why they want to get the sixth God out of there, okay? This is why they want to get the sixth God. They've been fearing this the whole time. They've been fearing that that hope or this energy here would be the one to end these things that they have going on in the background. When again, they could have just did it where everybody could have lived together. But no, they use these agendas and they push these narratives in order to make people afraid, okay? And these within these particular groups, okay? And then once they did that, all right, it gave these groups a little bit more power over everybody else and everything. These are those powers that shouldn't be, okay? These principalities, rules, and high, rulers in high places. They want us to forget about, you know what I'm saying, these other types of agendas and these secret things and these initiation rituals or whatever that they have going on behind the scenes okay these are we talk about things that are seen and unseen here okay by using our sensors okay or our senses so they want to clear they want to clear those people and clear out these other people that cared for intended to the farm animals which you are at most times again past present and future you take it where you want to go all right and gets moving, launch a pilot. And so again, this is why, again, when I just went ahead and decided to maybe show my face and see this is why, okay, this is why some of these tarot readers don't show their face, okay? Because it makes them an easier target. This is why some of these tarot readers don't get dressed. So it's so, it's so funny that, you know, it's in my energy today to go ahead, you know, I've been down or whatever, you know, sitting down, sitting back, you know, not really worried about my hair and stuff like that last couple of days, couple of weeks or whatever. Um, and then I decided to get dressed today and do a video. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like this is promotion for these entities or these energies, okay, that they want to send in on people, okay? You see what I'm saying? So this would be somebody that would probably try to move, remove a feminine energy from the public's eye, right? Yeah. Look, what, what just came out? Shine, okay? To remove somebody from the public's eye that they care about, okay? And then, you know, push hmm, another version of someone out there to lure in these people. Somebody is making money off of, let's just get to it. Somebody is making money off of American women in, in vulnerable or private situations, okay? Some of these people have choices and they have chosen to do this. This is why it, everything on Facebook is looking so filthy and shit now, okay? And, and some of these women don't have no say, okay? We have push here. We have hand, okay? Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, captain. So, again, this could be, again... Mm-hmm. Let me see. Hmm. This could... I'm hearing why some people may be preferringly... There might be something with um, people, you know, maybe leaning more towards themselves or self-expression or pleasurable things here because of what they know going on behind the scenes here so this could be like even energy of these masculines if these people open up borders to let these people that may be coming in and let me tell you one thing this ain't no offense to nobody from no other country excluding africa but we're not gonna act like sit here and we don't forget like these people you know they talking about all this from haiti and from the islands and stuff like that but we do know and we do remember a couple years back now right when them people was trying to escape from africa okay and, you know, unfortunately, there's one of some of these places here where they have been maybe heavily hit with, you know, certain viruses and certain illnesses. OK, so, again, if you have this energy here where you're letting these people come in and they're coming through the ports and they may be content. Listen to me. This is some foul shit, sick ass shit. This is some foul ass shit.
a pilot initiative to create the digital infrastructure to connect key stakeholders. These are slave traders. Do you hear me? In the supply chain. This may be people that might be holding on to these cyber driver's license. Okay. Who is this that's seen their father's nakedness? And then they cursed Canaan. Why did they curse Canaan? Because Canaan was probably, I mean, they. I think it was Canaan. Yeah. Because Canaan was the protector of those wombs. Canaan was that six God energy. Or is. This is why they hate him. And I'm that energy of the protectorist energy. Okay. And that's why they don't like me. And that's why they need us not to be nowhere near each other. Okay. In the supply chain and more. Okay. These could be your husbands, your daddies, your brothers, your uncles, your granddaddies. Your presidents, your governors, your chance, ch chancellors. I don't know what that is, okay? It's coming back to Dutch energy or Dutchess, okay? The result is a modern goods movement system that boosts American competitiveness and cuts families' cost. So this is basically to sell off your daughters and your sons to cut some kind of cost for some kind of debt or something that these motherfuckers didn't create it. Okay. You get what I'm saying? While these foreign women that they bringing in that'll do anything for a couple bucks and will freely sit with, for, for a set of nails in a lace front. And bow down and do whatever these, these people want them to do. And actually also put other people into um, some type of servitude. Because they jealous of American women anyway. Okay? And again, they had to go ahead and scout out the good American, the choices fruit. They had to go ahead and scout out um, the fairest of them all. Okay? So while they was doing that, these bitches were sitting back hating Oh, they was hating until they grabbed them and snabbed them an emperor or one of your brothers or your cousins or your daddy and them. You see what I'm saying? Okay. All right. And so now they sitting on the right hand or they sitting on the left hand or they sitting next to or on top of or whatever. And now they trying to use their hand to crush. I'm married to him now. I'm going to be over you now. Okay. So this is exactly what I said. Okay. We got naked in reverse here. That's what the fuck this is. We ain't even got a kid to you to go. Next, pump. I'm hearing a little pump. Well, pump. I don't know if this is happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm just hearing pump. Pump it real good. Okay. Yeah. Push, pump, hand, swallow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glass. I, I feel like that's somebody reminding somebody that they live in a glass house. Okay. All right. The way that they're going to be able to get to do this is by either lying on you or, you know, trying to expose you for something here um, to turn your masculine or your man or your husband away from you secretly. Okay. So he can justify the thing that he's doing behind your back, possibly, or bringing in another female of another feminine energy over you. But these bitches ain't the same as us, okay? They don't have no breaks, okay? And a lot of these women gonna break these motherfuckers right off or break something right off in their ass. See, you know what? Let me go ahead. I'm gonna stop. I can't do this video no more. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this video no more. Trucky mo so I feel like they're trying to be nice and try to let women into trucking now, okay? Now, I'm not saying this is all the whole trucking industry is about, okay? Or whatever they're talking about, the whole thing. No, I'm just reading between the lines. 
There's always a yin and a yang, a dark and a light, a good and bad, the, the upside and the downside, whatever the fuck it is. It always is one. Again, I told y'all, what, what we say, space age pimping, they done been warned you about it already long motherfucking time ago, okay? Mm. Waiting to lo load and unload. So this is making me think about downloads, okay? Stuff like that too. Independent small businesses, yeah. So these LLCs, most likely these masculines have LLCs with some of these bitches. These Ill illegitimate women or wives or empresses or empress or queens. They're illegitimate. They're illegitimate. Okay? Some of these women I'm hearing is soulless beings. They don't have a soul. They got to harden your heart and harden your soul against your people and other people first before they can get you to take the oath or whatever the fuck this is behind the scenes in order to get involved in this type of thing. Yeah. So we got the five of swords. Not so fast. That's my not so fast card. Cause I don't read tarot. I, I'm just a storyteller here. Okay. So I feel like this is something here. This is a masculine here that's standing up. We have to back these men, y'all. If you know them or if you know one, okay, that would do, put their life on the line for somebody here. You know what? And see, this would tell me, okay, that there is a masculine here, okay? And he cares about me very, very fucking much, okay? And if he can't be here, there is someone else here that cares as well, okay? Now, I'm not saying these masculines can't benefit or they're not benefiting or they're not, you know, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they might be doing or whatever. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? These people want to open up the gates to let all kind of motherfuckers run all up and through your shit. Okay, we got burrito. I don't know what they have to do with this. Okay, so again, something may be putting somebody's union in at hold here because, again, okay, I feel like some people are benefiting or making money off of some of you, and so they, they, this is why you're not able to get into a union because you're too valuable on your back in these secret programs or whatever that they have. Now, this could just be somebody being able to come and spy on you or peep on you in personal times or something or during intimate times with your own husband, okay? We got dolphin in reverse, okay? Smack, banana, okay? That's also making me think about, you know, something, okay? This is just what the ancestors are saying, okay? Maybe we're going to get in trouble for talking to the ancestors. But this is just from what I picked up from this little tiny piece right here, okay? So then these women are going to also use this as a time to be able to try to call some women out on their sexual behavior. And these are people that would prefer to be not sexual in any other dimension or plane. They would not be preferring to be sexual in this motherfucking plane or none of that. See? See? But what people ain't understanding is you don't have a choice. When you got scared of COVID and they got you scared of everything and you gave up your rights and you feared everything, that's when you gave up your rights, honey. Yes, that's when you gave them up, okay? And so again, back to that, ooh, we... That sexually explicit deck. When I pulled out that one card from it the other day, the woman sitting there in that chair naked with that pinnacle on her crotch. So again, this whole access denied, okay, is has them saying, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and open it up so that there's no, zero admission, okay? Rug, okay? See? And it's why that all eternal person was talking about her waxing session, okay? You see what I'm saying? And I guess it depends on what kind of gods. It's kind of reminded me of an ancient Egyptian 
myth or whatever or something about, you know, it, it may have even been in that book of segment, like depending on how you took care of your area. Okay. It's, uh, it's almost making me think about, um, unless it smells like sanitation. Okay. Uh, Biggie Smalls. So it's making me think like, depending on how you care for or how you, yeah. Cause I feel like this is what was going on with me internally. Okay. To be, when we talk about this rug, to be or not to be. Okay. Cause in the winter time it be like that. Okay. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is what this is talking about here. Okay. I don't know about this hot girl summer energy, but you know, this is just making us look a little bit more appetizing. Okay. So maybe this is what the Muslims were a little bit smarter about they women. Okay. So they taught them to cover up and do these things. So it's not really just about control either. Okay. Cause I'm always going to be fair and balanced on here. It may be because of that. Okay. It may be because of that. So again, when I say mammify or whatever, or they want you to look some kind of way or have, you know, catch you looking all crazy or whatever, you know, that is just to make you less appealing or whatever. But in all, in some instances in these times, right, it may be best to be less appealing. Okay. You know, like I said, I heard some of my, my uh, daughter say at one time, you know, it might be a um, repellent. Okay. But then again, so somebody say, okay, so you're going to, so, so, so you don't want to have, you know what you want to protest. Okay. All right. Whip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So I feel like that's what that is. That's what that is. In the two of pentacles, somebody's still struggling on which, which, um, you know what I'm saying? Which vehicle they want to save. Okay. I don't know why I'm here like save you. Cause you know, they use that term sometimes in the Bible. Okay. So, you know, this may be even people being bogus and going back into your past to say, Hey, you was with something in the past. Why you ain't with it now? Okay. So, you know, and then they, and then again, you, in this instance, they'll, they'll reserve the American women to the side and fly all these foreign women around the country. You know what I'm saying? Pay for their travel and shit like this so that they can be humping on these masculines or being humped on by these masculines. You be the judge. Okay. And then that's all that they can think about, especially some of these acts that might be going on in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Cause some of these people know some shit. All right. And this masculine didn't never even end up coming to his empress or his real American, you know, queen. You see, he already got turned out or turned, you know, turned off. Right. Because these people are doing all these other extravagant things. Now, they're not all for, you know, not for like immediately just coming in here as illegal immigrants. But some of these women, you know, what I'm saying are just part of societies and stuff like that. OK, so we have slide here. OK. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I feel like either way, somebody's going to be doing whatever they're going to do, okay? Mm. But I feel like they're just waiting for some of us to be... Isn't it sad? This is sad, y'all. They're waiting for you to either get pregnant or contaminated with something here. Possibly something incurable here. All for money. Yeah, somebody didn't like when money makes somebody different. Somebody can't even respect somebody no more. Golden. Golden child. A fiddle. Okay. That fiddle in between the legs of that woman that's bound and strapped up. What is she? The five of, what is she? Is she the five of swords? The earth. And she's covered in the earth. That's what they were doing. They were keeping us blinded 
They were blocking some kind of energy or some kind of access to these men to make them think that women, these American women are hard to deal with, difficult. They don't like love. They don't want no love. You know, they don't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness. In order to allow these different people and these different energies to come. And, and again, oh, we got cream, damage, toss. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Ram, okay, deep, frost, there's right there at the bottom. They were doing this to make us cold hearted, y'all. Somebody's heart turned. Yeah. Cold or to stone here. <clears throat> and once they harden the hearts, you probably wouldn't even be, you know, and that's when they can fill in that void or that something here. With this mindless behavior or this senseless, these senseless acts. We got strawberry in reverse because I feel like what they want to do is they want to taint, taint you, your blood, your body, whatever. Man. So all, all, all while we sit here and all this lustful act, activity is going on dirty, okay? All this lustful activity is going on. Even the ones that won't, it won't even be sent to go into that lustful energy. This is where we hit, it's, it's a fork. So a fork in the road. They're going to still find a way. It's a relentless act here. I'm going to stop. I can't, I'm disgusted actually. Okay. A smell. So again, maybe this is why some people may be having some pH balance energy that's off here. Okay. We got the eager beaver here, okay? But that beaver may be something else, you know what I'm saying, spiritually. And we got the archer, I'm telling you. In the snail energy, see? Because I'm very sharp and accurate, but at the same time, it's slow. And I feel like it's because of the spell work and the binding spells and things that these people are doing. I'm, I'm disgusted, actually. So, I'm disgusted, actually. And so I'm actually going to stop this right here. You know what? These people are sick. Okay. And these people need to be removed um, from office or whatever the fuck they stand. Like immediately. Like I don't even know what it, this is anymore. Because like I said, it ain't like it's it's almost like um it's almost like what Nikki said, like whatever the fuck you trying to do, it's like or whoever you trying to bring in, it's like all of them bitches I'm better than. And I don't have a problem <laughs> with stating that. Because it's my turn. It's kinda like it's my party. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And I can cry it the fuck if I want to. And so like what it just it just to me not just american women but all women are invited in matter even trans women are invited in matter to me so at the end of the day it was about exposure of this information here but some people took that shit to heart and so now they're playing their part all right and this is against the bloodlines of your mammy them and your grandma them and your your auntie them that have come in the past that these bitches been sitting up in here and been mad about, okay? Because they know where the heart of these masculines and these pharaohs and these kings and these presidents lie or lay in the bosom of God. And that is the American God, okay? 
And so these people are upset. Because they can have the shell of a man. And once they get them, it's too late because this sorcery is mind control. They probably damn near got a, a something about a bedroom, dresser, table because they couldn't keep them otherwise. No, sir. And ma'am, they couldn't keep them otherwise. Not from you no know, real American pies. Okay. And that's whatever color, race, or whatever the fuck creed. Okay. <laughs> they couldn't. It's a convenient energy. Rags to riches. They never meant for you to go from rags to riches. It's for these other bitches. See? And then a lot of these men gonna wake up one day and realize that they ain't got nothing and that bitch is gone. Matter of fact, she done went back to her place wherever fuck she came from or whatever hole she crawled out of. If she is American and would do some old shit like that, okay? For money. A lot of these women, that I'm pretty sure if they're American women, they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Some of the men, too. They don't know what they're getting themselves into. Mm. I'm disgusted. 